Fable 3 is um, it's an action adventure game where you play this hero. You play in a land which is uh, ruled by this evil tyrant. You've got to get a force of people together and overthrow the evil tyrant, take out the bad guy. That's half the game. The other half of the game is you're going to experience what it feels like to be a king or a president or a ruler. You know, what your world is going to be like, whether it's going to be wonderful and you're going to eradicate starvation or it's going to be evil and terrible and you're going to take in one's gold, it's very much up to you. What we're doing is with Fable 3 is we're making it much, much more accessible. It's much easier to be the hero that you want to be or the heroine. We are used to be a, a man or a woman. We have this fantastic co-op uh, functionality and we have some unique things like touch. The ability to reach out and touch things and people in the world that you've never seen in a computer game before. Aggressive. Smile. <laughs> Fable Stern. is a controller-based game, definitely. But we as a studio are working on, you know, and looking at Natal-based stuff. Me as a designer loves the idea of using Natal in Fable. I can't say any more than that. All I can say is, personally, I find it fascinating. Excellent. Being able to hold, persuade, pull, push, all that can be done dynamically. We have a story art we're thinking of. It's a really strong story art we've mapped out. You can see that it's progressed from one to two to three. We're moving through this big story art. We can see that going on for at least another one iteration.